The year is 2016, and we're going to break down The Trust, starring Nicolas Cage. Just like all the other movies that we've <laughs> discussed, and Brand Brand's already drinking the beer. Yeah, I did too. Oh. Give, give oh. a little sip, you boys. Um, we're, beer. S- we're supposed to drink when you talk, and Excellent. you drink okay. when we talk. That's fair. Thank you, Chris. That's fair. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a three stooges thing that no one will understand. Never mind. Uh, uh, the beer we are drinking. This episode is half acre brewing. Uh, now and then. Juicy Indiana Pale Ale with lactose. Brand Brand gonna be shitting his pants tonight. Oh, uh, can't wait. Yeah. Oh. I went on vacation last weekend. Uh-huh. Stouts all weekend. Dude, nice. my shit was just like this black tar motor it was oil. Dark matter, basically. Yeah. 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 That sounds pretty that. metal. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Did you have a, uh, did I see you had a chemtrail? I did. Nice. It was fantastic. Nice. Very good. Um, oh, my name is Brian Lee. To my left is Brian Brian. To my right, Chris Really? Oh, oh, you did like Michael yeah, Buffer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's time. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> uh, Next time I'll be here in a sweet suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Brian. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's not how it works at all. <laughs> Ooh, I can taste that lactose. Weird. That's pretty good. Do you recommend this movie? Yeah, I do. I thought there was... A, so, to me, it was an okay kind of movie. Like, oh, if it was on TV, I might watch whatever. But what, what made me like, yeah, I should recommend this is because there was just certain parts that were, like, funny. Like, Nick Cage just had certain just, like, little things. It was like, oh, I got coffee. <laughs> JK. Like, did you hear that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that was like, like oh, you, you put, put, some, put some hot sauce on the lemons. Trust me, it's really good. <laughs> like, I really thought someone was going to have uh, Tabasco and lemons for us today. I don't even read who who yeah who yeah I thought so I don't know yeah lemon and Tabasco they were just like the funny parts where the the guy from Boy Meets World the cop from Boy Meets World right where he's just like he had all like weird with the gun he's like ah see I was like this is like this is goofy it was goofy I think more than anything I Mm -hmm. laughed I like laughed out loud at certain parts so yeah lots of funny yeah I don't think they were supposed to be funny no they were oh really no, i think okay. so well when i looked at it it just said um drama crime and hey it, speaking so. of words what were the plot keywords to this <laughs> so the, oh, this yeah. is what the movie <laughs> 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 this is what the movie is about according to imdb uh police officer uh, that makes sense robbing a criminal yes theft yes partner in crime corrupt cop Oh, there you go. I agree with all those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> um, I do recommend this movie. I laughed at quite a few of the jokes. Yep. At the jokes that were supposed to be laughed at, like not unintentional jokes. Uh, we will discuss those jokes later. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> at a later time. <laughs> but I want to find out first. Christopher, do you recommend this movie? The Trust. Yes, I recommend it. There's one thing that r- rubbed me the wrong way. But other than that, yes, this is an enjoyable film. Oh. I would recommend it. Oh. Bram Bram, did you enjoy the boobs <laughs> in this movie that happened right away? Oh, that's right. Ru- yeah, a minute and a half in. I wonder how they cast that because they like, did a really close up on the mole underneath yes. her boob there. I'm just like, hey. did they put out like a call like, we need a, a chick with a mole under her boob they right probably there? probably could have put makeup on. Yeah, that could be makeup. There's no such thing. You can't fake that. You can't fake makeup. You can't fake makeup. <sighs> Oh, my eyes are dry. Um, I I just I, what I like best about that part was how unenthused uh, yeah, Frodo yeah. was. I thought that was fantastic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it's gonna be another movie where we don't <laughs> call the actor by his real name. <laughs> what else? He was in a lot of stuff. Sin City. Yeah, he, he oh yeah, awesome in Sin City, and it was really good in that. And Even though we really didn't have any lines yeah. at all, he just he played a good villain. Yeah, no, he was in that. He was in uh yeah. I feel like there's like one other thing. So one other like really big thing he was in. I'm trying to. Oh, uh, Wilfred, the TV show on yeah, FX with the dog. I never watched it. Uh, I watched a few of it. It was it's for me that was hit or miss. There was some that were really good, and some were just like I don't know about this show. Hmm. No, he was in. Uh, I don't. Uh, Nick Cage's must. Oh, the good but... son with Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> You're not naming bangers here. <laughs> you don't like that. I mean, when I was a kid and I watched The Good Son, I was like, I could do this. This is awesome. 
No? Crickets? No. Yeah. I mean, we went from Lord of the Rings, Sin City, like, super well-known things, and then... You, the good song's not well-known. Huh. I mean, it probably is, but... Not, not to, from, yeah, not to the, the high-class uh, Lee family here. I didn't realize. Tricking our yeah. lactose yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Orlando Bloom. <laughs> What's the guy's fucking name? Uh, Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah, that's it. Elijah Wood. Elijah. Wood. Elijah. Oh, Elijah Wood. Uh, this has Jerry Lewis in it. It does. Yeah, yeah. No, his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in it for less than a minute, I think. Yeah, about yeah, dude. His mustache, Nick Cage's mustache. Yes, that awesome. was pretty sweet. Yeah, and no, oh, that was a commercial I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, this other guy had a pretty sweet mustache, too, but that was on a, on a YouTube. Mm. No, it wasn't. It was a YouTube thing I was watching. Hmm. Well, anyways, his mustache was, like, super curly. It was oh. awesome. Back to the Future, too. Oh, and he made coffee. So it's pretty cool. The YouTube or? The YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he was the kid by the arcade machine. Oh. Yeah, so really? he must have been super yeah. young. Yeah, he was the kid by the arcade machine. Huh. Come to daddy. The war. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. So, uh, so no? you, you no brought one, up. Apex one? No. No. no, 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 no. Yeah, I remember. <sighs> you, oh, that's right. It wasn't that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> you uh, brought up a point that I was curious about is because, yeah, I watched this movie and laughed quite a bit. Yeah. But w- when you look at it on IMDb and Wikipedia, comedy is nowhere in the description. <laughs> exactly. It's like yeah. crime, drama, yeah. thriller, cop movie, like <clears throat> everything. It, about this like says it's supposed to be serious yeah and i laughed quite a bit yes well, yeah. yeah that's the thing i was like about maybe a little bit more than halfway through i'm like is this a comedy and that's yeah. what made me pause well, and look it up so oh, wait well, yeah because i wrote down is this a comedy oh so yeah the whole uh like tabasco was it orange or lime i think Lim- that was wait a lemon 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 yeah okay some citrus, uh, yeah, because that made me laugh. Yeah, yeah. So Elijah was like, "Oh, that oh, tastes good to you." And the kid's like, "No, it doesn't." <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like even even when Nick Cage and the one like commander are talking, and like the guy jumps out the window, and like mm, they're oblivious mm. to what's going on. I mean, though he totally does the Jim Carrey like banaka gag. Oh, where he like yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes that way. even that made me laugh. That yeah. did make yeah. me laugh. Yeah, yeah. Well, because he played it so well, like it, like it wasn't a goof. Like he yeah. was just like, "Oh, I just goofed up." Like, like it's a like lot I mean, of like just little little throwaway, yeah, jokes. little zingers, yeah. little zingers. That's right. all it was. <laughs> well, that's, what, that's what I call Speaking little of Jerry Lewis. <laughs> that's what I call little like jokes like that. And they're zingers. That's what I, they are. I don't like old Jerry Lewis just because like he yeah. was such an asshole later in his life. Yeah, like, I get it. Like you're no, you're not owed anything. He's just like. Uh, but he felt like he was entitled to like yeah, no. all these accolades. It's like, all right, dude. Like, listen, yeah, like, yeah. you're Jerry Lewis. You're the fucking nutty professor. Let's just chill out mm-hmm. here. No, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> when they're but when they're when they're at the bar, you know, and they're eating the lemons and Tabasco. <laughs> he's like, Where have you brought me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's like, and he's like, he's like, I don't like this place. He's like, he's like, I think that guy's getting a hand job, but I can't tell because he's eating, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, like little throwaway line, right, right, like, yeah, like that's yeah. so awesome. And it's, it was almost like this to me. Elijah Wood and like Nick Cage, they meshed so well yes, together. Yes. It, it yep. wasn't like it wasn't even like you were almost not what it was. It was like you weren't watching a movie almost. It was like watching like two guys or something. Well, two friends. Yeah, two friends. Yeah, that's right. It would seem like you were just two friends goofing. And that's what was like when you can make a movie like that. I I think I like that. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. It's hard to do. So when that happens, it's pretty cool. I think most of my notes are just like the one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, when he's like, I don't know why you brought me here. I don't, I don't like this way. And I'm just like, yes, <laughs> you speak to me. And like he spoke to me in this movie, Elijah Wood. Like that. Yeah. I was like, I feel you for a lot of this stuff. Um, that and uh, the scene with Elijah Wood and like the front desk receptionist. Yes. Where she's like, I'm going to have to call that. And he like slams the phone down. Yes. Right. I'll, I'll give you under hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the part where Nick Cage, he's walking, and I think it was into a casino, and he's just walking through the street, and he just goes like this and points to the. I don't know, because you couldn't tell from he oh, was to yeah, the camera. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, like a car. He's. Uh, yeah, you, you couldn't even see a car. I think he's, oh, going, he's, right, yeah. he's going across a car. I do that move. Yeah. But, but I, I think 
I wonder if that was like an ad lib, like if there wasn't a car there, because it was right towards the camera, and just kind of just like a look, just to stop and points. So but I was just I like, totally do that oh, move I, all the time. Me just too. Like I'm walking yeah. at a crosswalk. Yeah, and like, me too. I'm just like, yeah, just you know, hand out and all yeah, that stuff. I do it all the time. And, but and I think it's also that casino scene where, like, uh, Orlando Bloom, like he wait, what's his name? <laughs> Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. Yeah, <laughs> Elijah Wood. <laughs> Where like he like he storms off and Nick Cage is like David David yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um positive thinking yeah positive thinking Nick Cage he, that's what he, you could say that, that. yeah the yeah the power of positive thinking <laughs> that's what I like about you you got positive thinking yeah uh, Nick Cage trying to speak German to like the yes. drills <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. and then. The one, th- like he's, it's after what? What had just happened? They're like Nick Cage is looking at like the security cam footage. Oh yeah, that yeah, that scene was weird, funny but weird. Yeah, right. Because he's like, he's like, he's like, all right, zoom in. Okay, now give me a different angle. He's like, isn't that the sandwich shop off the? Yeah, off the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cheese just melts. Just yeah. yeah. off the sandwich. He's, he's, he's like, yeah, that place is legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I, I wrote down that's a big one. What what was oh, what did he say that to? It's like that's a big one. Oh man! Uh, when he's buying guns. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that's the guys. Right. The guys, oh, guys he's he's like, like, the guns oh, on the hood. Now yeah, that's like, actually that really surprised me. Yes. Oh yeah, I wasn't expecting uh, that yeah, at and all. That thing, that's like, and I feel like that's a very serious scene. Yeah, right. yeah. So yeah, so Nick Cage, you know, he had Bobo. I think was the guy's name. Yeah, he has like this like. Gangster guy, yeah. He um, his Nick Cage pick him up so he can buy these guns from this guy, and then like the guy's like you know driving him out really far into mm-hmm. the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And Nick Cage is like, he's like, oh, is this is this far away? And the guy's like, man, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he said one more word, I'm gonna shoot you in the face, right. kind of thing. Oh, so, so he take- oh, so it is far. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that means so then he takes him like to the middle of a construction site. Yeah. And the bad, you know, Bobo lays out the guns on the on the hood of the car. <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, and he's just like he's like he's like oh you know are these like you know are these newer? Yeah, he's like, these are brand new, right? Right. He's like he's like and he puts on his glasses. He's like you haven't like scratched off the the serial number, right? And Bobo's just like he's like man, you better not be dealing with motherfuckers like me. Yeah. Hope that motherfuckers like you. And then Cage they, just bah like yep. right in the fucking head. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, had, uh, he kept bullets in his uh, glasses yeah. case, mm-hmm. which was I'm just like man, that like, yeah, that's pretty smart. Oh, yeah, that was I actually rewatch that scene and be like oh yeah like, yeah mm-hmm. yeah. It, there was, I think there were more things that were funny than more things like that. Right. Yes. Yeah. There were a lot less serious things that would like pop yep. in every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, because like, so do you? Do you think? <laughs> I'm just thinking about the the, the van part. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, Which part? The part with what? the the, the pre heist joke. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I just read it and I laughed and then yeah, I didn't mean to cut. Like you where off. he pretends that he forgot to. Grab yeah. It. Yeah. It was just a pre heist joke. No, watch your woods. Like. Ah. <laughs> but I mean, even I mean, you know, like another serious. Or no, so my question was, um, so you think Cage had this all planned out, or do you think it kind of played out as we all saw? Because Elijah. Elijah Wood. Wood yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Frodo. Frodo, because yeah. Frodo thinks like he's like, oh, you had this planned out all oh, along. Wait, you were somebody like storyline wise, right? So, yeah, yeah. I really think it was just Nick Cage with good planning and going with the flow. Right. That's what I really. I don't was. think it was all premeditated, yeah, yeah. like Frodo thought it was. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, yeah, and yeah, because then Frodo also sees that like he was serious. He bought it. right the plane yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can you can tell by like you saw his face yeah. and he was just like, oh shit, I like I really didn't, like to to find out what was in that safe. I diamonds isn't what I thought it would be. I thought it would just no. be. And didn't know. we learn in a previous Nick Cage movie that you can't yeah. sell cut diamonds? Yeah, right. It, yeah, they have serial numbers and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I had yeah. that exact thought. So mm. thank you, Nick Cage. You're really informing us. <laughs> but, so when they're so, in order for them to break into this safe, and actually, a serious moment in the movie is when they're trying to figure out the combination. So, mm-hmm. Frodo is down at the dial, mm-hmm. the combination mm-hmm. part of the safe, 
And then Nick Cage has like this like snake camera, mm-hmm. like that goes to like the the pin and drops yeah. or whatever. Which I guess I don't fully understand it, but to me that was really suspenseful. Yeah, like that was a really well yeah yeah played out scene. Yeah, um, well shot, well edited. Right, but in order for them to find out where to put this camera and stuff like that, uh, Frodo he he tapes out. Like the yeah. layout. Yeah. Of the, of the, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so he he tapes out the layout of the apartment that's above where the safe is. Yeah. So he yeah, he tapes out the apartment layout on the ground. Right. Yeah. Of like this. I don't know where they're at. It, it, it's like a field or something. Yeah. It was in the middle of like like a, a construction. A yeah. But there was something. a bunch of that like um that um steel sheeting. Right. The, the corrugated steel right. sheeting. Yeah. Held up by like a. Uh, not even two by fours, but really right. long two yeah, by right. fours. Yeah. Um, so like they're trying to figure out like where they can bust in. So like Nick Cage kind of kneels down and he looks over and he sees like a break in like the taping. Mm-hmm. He goes, "What's that?" And Frodo's just like, "Oh, nothing. A bee flew in my face." <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cage says that while he has a massive <laughs> amount of sunscreen. Yeah, why, why did he put sunscreen on I his nose? I don't know. Nose? There was so much. And it was on his finger the entire yeah. time, right. time, too. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Uh, uh, and then... And he, uh, go ahead. I was like, man, when he pulled up in the minivan... Yeah, Because the ledge, what he's expecting, like a, a, a conversion like a cargo yeah, van. Yeah, yeah, cargo yeah. Van. yeah just please like, don't be it. Please yeah, don't be it. And then the Nick smiles, and the door <laughs> just door slides open. open. <laughs> But then, and then when they finally get to the apartment, he, like, Nick Cage is like, hey, I'm going to scope it out. Yeah. I'll walk you. So what's great is he gets out of the van and he starts running and he's at a point to where he's out of focus. Yeah. But you see the walkie drop yeah. down on the ground and he stops grabbing the walkie. But just like just like the comedic timing of it right. was really, it's it's a comedy. It is a, it? This is a comedy. Yeah. Big time. I, I, I almost think that it was promoted as a drama. And people want to see it as a drama, and we're disappointed, and it, it might not have done as well. As yeah, we'll have to watch the trailer and see like how they advertised. Yeah, it. yeah, right. It was because I, it was funny throughout. Excuse me, throughout the whole thing, I was laughing. So, <laughs> coffee, JK. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> the cake saying JK. Yeah, that's my favorite that thing. was awesome. You haven't had it's a lot wacky. of coffee. Yeah, you haven't had a lot of coffee today, have you? JK, go for it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a line. Yeah, that was a line. <laughs> But that, like that and the other thing was like right when they're like they get the drill all set up yeah. and everything and they're about to go for it and Nick Cage goes okay you know the drill <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean because even I mean it's like they even kind of put like thought into like that type of drill because like it's like a it's like a wet drill yeah, so it's just like yeah. okay like it needs to be a wet drill like or like the bit's gonna overheat and stuff like that like that yeah, kind of detail was like this was a really well thought out movie right mm-hmm. I think they did a really good job like I couldn't find really any holes like that well that was stupid I didn't find yeah, any of that stuff yeah. So, yeah 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 it was good okay the one thing that did bug me though yeah so. In the apartment, you know, okay, so the guy who they shot or whatever, Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a he's a bad guy, I assume, because he had all the guns and stuff like that. Right. In one way or another, I think. Okay, so and then the girl that was there, she said that she was just there to buy coke. Yes. Okay. do we think she was that was the case or do we think she was affiliated with the bad guy that had the guns? I just ask because I guess what bugs me is so she's like, oh, I got to I got to call. I, I have a son. Yeah. And I need to, I need to call his father. Uh, yeah. So Frodo gets up, grabs a phone and lets her call, quote unquote, the father. Why? And then it turns out at the end, she called these. That's it. Were they hit? Men? Right, like uh, what? Who were they? That's the I, I don't know who I they have, were. I have a feeling that the that that guy that then that Nick Cage ended up shooting, he was the head guy because I think that downstairs was his stuff. That's what I think. That's uh, what I. Think. That's what I. Think. Uh, so I think okay, when he's dead, sense. she called and said, "Hey, they killed him." These, you know, well, who did this? Come get them, whatever. Because yeah, because Nick, that's what Nick Cage or Frodo even says like, like, hey, no one. Do they say like no one ever leaves or something like that? They're like they never, no one ever leaves the apartment. 
Yeah. Well, no, they're just saying none. <clears throat> I mean, no, no, all no the product, stuff, no product leaves the right. safe. Yeah, 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 no product leaves that. the safe, yeah. Um, but yeah, why wouldn't, when she makes the phone call, why wouldn't Frodo hang around? See, I thought he did. But obviously he... Yeah, didn't hear her calling. Right. Yeah. I think at that point uh, is also when he was kind of like having the Nick Cage issue, wasn't he? Yeah. So I think yeah, there was probably... Sorry to be there was, that. Yeah, so yeah. he probably was trusting her more thinking that she was just a bystander and he didn't want her to be in trouble. And he was more worried about Nick Cage. Hmm. That's, I even got that from like the body language and stuff too. Right. I mean, cause I'm a forensic psychologist. Yeah. Cause I got really angry. I don't even think that's the correct term. Whatever. I'm just going with it. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Right? right. Yeah. Cause I said big words. <laughs> Oh. Zebra! No! He, where were the Z? What are you, a magician? Xylophone! <gasps> XY. Oh my god. You're amazing. <laughs> um, where was I going with Oh, yeah, I, I really started to not like Frodo once he kind of started getting all like tweaky yeah. and not trusting Nick Cage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what, ma- what made it switch there. Because I, it was like, why'd you bring all these bags? Yeah, I and think that it, was yeah. the switch. And, but, but then it was like, because but, I mean, he what was, was prepared. Right, that like, was the intention like, the yeah. whole fucking time. Right, so to me it was like, well, because I, I think they kind of set it up where Frodo just thought that Nick Cage was bringing enough bags for the safe, but it turned out Nick Cage brought enough for the safe and the apartment upstairs. It's so like, oh, did you know something that I didn't? Oh, uh, I thought it was all for downstairs. That's what I, I thought yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I think it was because he Frodo sees the bags upstairs, so he's like, "Oh, you're gonna take all these guns too." Oh, well, that makes, I, that, that kind of makes it make sense a little bit more. I maybe. feel like they could have conveyed that better probably, if that is the case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Shallow and pedantic. Yeah, <laughs> beat me to it. <laughs> that was a sweet little like hidden closet, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Dude, that's and the, I uh, love gun hidden ooh, in the ooh, uh the oh, and, yeah yeah the, the and the safe too was awesome because it had that one safe door with just the chain with the the, the lock oh, on yeah. it and he cuts through it opens it and then there's this like high tech yeah. roaming behind it I'm like that is really cool yeah it was weird I don't know if it's because the movie must have been in really dreary lighting the whole time but when they actually got in the safe yeah, yeah it was very well lit. white everything right, yeah. was it, it, yeah it, it was reminding me of like the like remember resident evil the, like the first one yeah. they went through the, the, that room it reminded me of that with the yeah, lasers movie. yeah the movie yeah remember when they're walking through and there's the lasers in that room the white yeah, room the laser tunnel yeah and, yeah. Like, yeah it's not, well, that's that's what that's it not a very good movie yeah it's not a very good movie where's barry <laughs> Barry, where is Barry? <laughs> Remember, <laughs> like how mind blowing we thought those games were back in the oh, day. Dude, I remember watching a buddy play the first Resident Evil when it first, when it came out. And I remember remember the scene where I would walk up to the door, the door would open. Yeah, right. I would. I remember being like, "Oh God, oh God!" Like not like being like just gonna shit my pants, scared, but being like, "This no, is you spooky." Were gonna shit your pants. I'm like, no, 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 no. The audience will be less of me. I gotta go home again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! That's what I did. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. How did you, were you there? <laughs> you my friend. Zoinks. <laughs> 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 But yeah, I mean, I, I can't remember. Nice Scooby Doo reference. Yeah. <laughs> As always, super current references. But yeah, because I feel like, yeah, like Gran Turismo, Metal Gear Solid, like that PlayStation 1 era was yeah. just like, whoa. Was that PS1 or PS2? PS1. The Twisted Metal. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I used to play that shit. Well, that's the thing. So metal. that's all PS1. But then when the PS2 came out, it's like Metal Gear Solid 2 came out. Yeah. And Gran Turismo 3 came out by then. So I can't remember if I. If I talked about it on here, how the wait, so would that be Metal Gear Solid 2? The one with Ocelot and I think the one that was really popular. I never Crystal played Box. I never played any Metal Gear Solids. Really? Yeah. They're really good. Fucking yeah. awesome. So no, I hear that. I just never So that Metal Gear, because that's not the OG Metal Gear, because that was yeah, on Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. It was on whatever those PlayStations. Um <laughs> That sounded really old for a second. <laughs> was, yeah, the PlayStation. It's the PlayStation. <laughs> Just adding the SFP. The, 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 the Game Genies. Uh, I love those Xboxes. <laughs> but I beat I beat Metal Gear Solid going into Y2K. Ah, nice. 
Clearly, I had my priorities. Dude, that's an accomplishment. Goddamn right. I know. That's Mm. that's awesome. I beat Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. Two barrel. Dude, I thought I was God. Like, I was so (laughs) proud of myself. Well, anytime I beat a video game, I'm like, I'm the best that's ever lived. (laughs) I am the greatest. (laughs) You know? Firebirds, watch Firebirds. <laughs> yeah. Go back. Uh, yeah. You know the drill. <laughs> I just, I just saw yeah. it. I I it I, it's funny because you helped out there because I, I wrote that line too, but I put, okay, you know the dill. <laughs> and this whole time I'm trying to figure out what I meant by it. I'm like, Were they eating pickles? pickles? I, I'm like, you know the dill. <sighs> Okay. Uh, uh, I really don't have like I said, yeah, that's I, that's, that's I, I barely wrote one liners from yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. I was like, it's so funny how so we've we've watched a lot of like hour and a half movies recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's I find it kind of funny how this one went by like that. Yeah, yes, because it was good. And all yeah. the and the other ones, it's just like, is this a three hour movie? Come on, it just it's, it just shows like. He can be awesome, but it, like the, it has to be good. The movie to make it go by. I'm saying, yeah. yep. ha, the movie has to be good mm-hmm. to, for it to go by. It's just it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> we also mentioned the uh, there's a really good Nick Cage freak out when uh, Elijah Wood wants to back out of it and all that, but Nick Cage is like, no, we're getting in <laughs> yeah, that safe. What, so oh, he's like, I, open it. That's open why it, I wrote it. Open it. it. Open it. Open it. Open yeah. it. I was, I was like, like yeah. why did I write open? Yeah, and he doesn't say it like five times. Like, it's, it's like, like six, eight. yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe six and a half. Oh, but again, there were like it was like maybe a good ten to fifteen. Yeah, it was a lot. That was, so I was like, is he gonna stop? Oh, he's going. No, nope, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, going. That was, that was funny. <sighs> Um, yeah, this was this. I think this was a good movie to watch by yourself and with a group of people. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah, I mean, we're now at the end of the movie, yeah. and it's kind of this episode. My biggest problem with this movie is the ending, because I feel like the whole movie is very lighthearted. There's right. lots of yeah, jokes. Yeah. Clearly, we're yeah. a lot of laughs. Right. Then the ending's kind of like dark. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's all seven on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's like this hit man crew like comes up and like shoots Frodo. Spoiler alert. And like that's it. Yeah. It's yeah. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Nick Cage. Boom. Frodo. Boom. Done. Yeah. I kind of wish the semi would have hit the van with the girl in yeah, it. Yeah. That would have been that's, cool. Yeah, yeah, come up. Yeah. To me, that would have been almost like uh, the chapter. The book closed to it. And more, yeah, more of, yeah, more of the uh, because it was like everybody involved in that stead. Yes. So it's kind of like it's over. Yep. You know, because uh, I know they're never going to make it. They're not going to make it. Okay, well, let's, let's make a spinoff with the woman. You know, it's, the they're trust not going to. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Inning. But I always <laughs> like when movies like when the main characters kind of like die and stuff. Don't leave anybody else. Yeah. That's just how I, I feel it should be. But especially someone so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> And I guess that uh, I did write down her name, but I guess the actress that played that character is like a model singer, someone somewhat notable. Do you have a name? Uh, no, I don't have it written down. No, it's, I don't well, it's, it's, not, it's not actually like a recognizable name, but um, I guess someone who's a model and singer and hmm. Hmm. it's like s- not Senna oh, Fox. I just wrote a model. <laughs> <laughs> a Google, a model. Who, who was this? Uh, cast. Well, you look that up. I'm going to do trivia. Uh, Jerry Lewis joined the project at the insistence of Nicolas Cage. Wait, see that again? I'm sorry. Jerry Lewis joined the project at the insistence of Nicolas Cage. Lady Sky Ferreira. Is there a reason? Yes. Sky Ferreira. That name looks familiar. It does. It sounds familiar. Is there, does it give a reason why? Uh, the two had been friends for years, uh, but Lewis only had less than one minute of screen time. Lady. It was also his final film. I was going to say, maybe he wanted, since they've been friends, maybe he wanted to do a movie mm-hmm. with them before he ended up dying. Uh, this is the directorial debut. Uh, it was directed by Alex and Ben Brewer. Oh, they did a good job. Uh, it takes place in Las Vegas, but no gambling is shown. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> during the filming of the movie, the crew discovered a body in the yard where they were shooting. <laughs> wow. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> And that's all I have for this movie. Sky Ferreira has a face that annoys me. <laughs> Let me see. Too symmetrical? Not symmetrical enough? Uh, it's very Olsen 20. It's like, 
she has that look like, now why am I here? Right. She has oh. that kind of look. Yeah, I don't it's, like that. It's a lot of like makeup on the cheekbones. Yeah, I don't. She looks like a goober. You don't have Perrier? Yeah, exactly. Perrier. Yeah. It's not that yeah. fast. <laughs> 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 but no, for her, it's like super fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> da, it's like one of those fake fancies. Um, open it. Open it. <laughs> open, 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 open it. Uh, wait. Is there no box office, you said? Uh, no. No. Okay. I was busy looking up Sky Ferreira. Ram, ram. Do you still recommend the movie? Yep. I do. Very much. It's good. Rating of uh, Half Acre, now and then. I give this a, uh, <laughs> a 3.25. I like, I'm kind of like, I paid out, but the lactose and it's a little bit more summery. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, I think that was good. I still recommend the movie. I'm gonna go three point two five. Also, yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's good, but it's yeah, yeah. I didn't. What was that saying? Knock my socks off. Exactly. <laughs> baseball. Uh, <laughs> I love baseball. I also recommend it, and I would also say three point two five. Oh, wh- second time. Second yes. time. What Don't let it No, that's why I correct. <laughs> I'm gonna crap your pants yeah. one day. <laughs> yep. <sighs> um, can we do? Yes. A top five. <gasps> sure. I have to think very quickly, but don't copy. You are... um... <laughs> <laughs> That's not you hide it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at my answers. <laughs> Put those folders like you did back in grade yes, school. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hated those kids, assholes. Dude, I fucking I put two folders and a roof folder on top. Well, like, see, a little those, hut, and I went what? ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> when I knew, when I knew I had, I knew what I was talking. Like I was gonna. Okay, we were. <laughs> When I was in a class and I knew I was going to do good on the quiz, I, had a little Asian I, would, boy in a yeah, I would do the same thing. I would, but when I was like, when I knew, like, I had no idea it was on the quiz. I didn't put those folders up. Why? Because I didn't know what was going on in the quiz. So why put them up anyways? I would just look at other people. Dude, I hated school and up until I went to college. Hated it. Wanted to leave. People liked me, so I didn't mind it too much. People liked me too, but I hated it anyways. No, actually, no. <laughs> that's not what I heard. I, <laughs> <think they're... laughs> I talked to your teachers. That's not what I heard. <laughs> no, the, I, I didn't like my teachers. Not a lot of them liked me. I only had like a. I got along with the people though, like the kids. I got like I got. Like, I wasn't part of like a group. I was like the guy that like everyone I got along with. Mm-hmm. So, but I still didn't like it. I didn't like learning. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> Well, go with what? Nothing. You're the man. <laughs> Thanks. Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> what's a battle? <laughs> Did he just say what's a battle? <laughs> do you need a moment? <laughs> oh, that's right. Top five. Um, Yeah, I do need a moment. Let me think. Okay. Do I so, go first? I do. <laughs> um, so my top five. <laughs> Look at me count. <laughs> I, just, I just look at you just like. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy. Con Air, Wicker Man. So that's my normal top yeah, three. Normal. The Trust. Yeah. Eight millimeter. Interesting. Wow. Eight millimeter. Oh, I'll go. Oh, I got issues. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably gonna throw like eight millimeter and Valley Girl in there. So uh, just yeah. Mandy, eight millimeter, Valley Girl, <laughs> The Trust, Drive Angry. Oh. Uh Vampire's Kiss, Mandy. These are in no order. Yeah. Uh, Vampire's Kiss, Mandy. Trust would be like number five. Mm-hmm. Um, drive Angry. Did I say that already? No. Is that four? That's four. Okay. Yes, that is four. He's holding up. That's what I was saying. Man. Wicker Man. <laughs> All right, cool. Frozen Ground would be in there as like a... So, as a, it, so that's the thing. It's like Frozen Ground, 8mm. Those are like good movies. Right. Yeah. But like... Again, if I'm at a party, I'm like, oh, let's watch Nick Cage movie. Let's watch 8 yeah, millimeter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would say, see the frozen ground. It's like, yeah, right. women getting kidnapped. It's like, mm, yeah. Wait, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but like the, the trust is a good, like, watch it in a group setting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big time. Party, Party low. low. I 
told the story about when I was at a party and they put on a uh, Wrecking for, oh, for a yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah that's okay. A big, that's a big downer, <laughs> dude. Everyone when it was like was over, everyone kind of just got up and was like, "I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go home and slit my wrist." Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Um. I forget what the episode number is, but basically it, it's the episode that just came out. But it's the one where you like choke on something and you just laugh at him for a minute straight. It's a solid minute. <laughs> I had a good chuckle on that. <laughs> that is uh what episode is that? That's uh it's either Outcast or I think it was uh, the, the Runner. Yeah, I think it might have been the Runner. Yeah, it's or it's outcast. outcast. Yeah. Yeah, probably Outcast. Okay, that'll do it for this app. That's yeah. everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what the next movies are. I don't either. I know Army of One's coming up, yeah. but I don't know if it's next time. Yeah. Oh, daddy, Google it. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, USS Indianapolis. I said, <laughs> let daddy. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's in the text. Yeah. It's USS uh, Indianapolis. Oh, and something is? else is coming up next, what's, I think. What's that one? Uh, he's like a Navy captain or something. Boy, the poster looks rough. <laughs> Doggy ever, Dog, Snowed in, USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage. Oh, we doing uh, Doggy Dogs, oh, Snowed yeah, in, yeah, Army more. of One. Yeah, USS Indianapolis and Doggy Dog are next. All right, cool. I have no idea what Doggy Dog is. Probably not good. But He plays Troy. Oh, actually, uh, if I remember correctly, because I briefly looked at uh, Metacritic for just all of his movies, so we definitely like went through a run of movies that were really shitty. Yeah. Like 20s, 30s score. But now I think we're about to hit us like us. I was gonna say a stream of movies, uh, a bit of a few movies where it's like 50s, 60s. Ooh. So they're gonna get a little bit better. Okay. Ah. All right, that'll do it. All right. For this um, time. Oh, yeah. but, oh, no. what? I just, I just want to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> you would like that? <laughs> yes, very much. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all next time. Brandon's gonna pee. Bye. Right. Hey, this is Brian. Chris. Brandon, we really appreciate you guys checking out the podcast, and we just want to say the only way that we can get more people to hear us is if you suggest us, recommend us, you know, find us on iTunes, rate us, five stars as always, put a positive review, and uh, hopefully we can put out plenty more content for you. 